G'day guys. On this episode, we're talking to Matthew from Addicts about their camper trailers that are Jeep branded. So here at SEMA again, 2022, with Matthew from Addicts Overland. And this is their Jeep trailer. Matthew, tell us about it. Hey, we're excited to uh, release this new Addicts trailer here at SEMA 2022. Uh, with a ton of R&D for the last couple of years, we were able to put together what we feel is the perfect size of uh, overlanding trailer. Yeah. So to give you a, a base of this, it starts out dry weight at 850 pounds. Okay, so that's around 400 kilos. Yep, and then uh, at that point, we've got 2,000 pound independent torsion suspension axles on there. Okay. So it gives you 17 inches of clearance. Magic. And then with that amount of weight, you can actually put an additional 1,200 pounds on the trailer. So is that a Jeep wheel? So yes, that is a Jeep Rubicon wheel. So you're telling me it's Jeep stud pattern. So, so JL, JK. Yes. So we've been in discussions with Jeep for the last year, year and a half on uh, jumping basically through all of the engineering hoops to make sure that we had a solid product that would uh, that we could bear their name on. Okay. So this is now an officially licensed Jeep trailer, Jeep Addicts. Yes. Which you will be able to buy from your local Jeep dealership uh, starting 2023. Wow, that's pretty exciting. Uh, we're pretty stoked. So, you know, just to kind of give you a quick yeah, rundown. Yeah, give us a rundown what's in it, what what's it can do. and I mean, every, if you're a Jeep owner, we all love our Jeeps, right? Yes, and yes. And it's the number one accessorized vehicle in the world, as we all know. And uh, so what we did is we wanted to make sure that this was somewhat of your tortilla, if you will. And uh, you can put all these different accessories on. So what you get from Addicts, is, or the Jeep Addicts, is uh, the trailer itself is a, the platform is bent metal base. Okay, yep. And so there's no welds, no extrusions to rust or have a problem with. So the rigidity, the way it's engineered, it's solid as can be. Then the uh, body itself is mounted. Okay, yes. Uh, on top. It's a uh, 14 gauge steel. Okay. So any guy like you and I, we can bolt whatever we want to this bad boy. Fantastic. It comes with a rack that yep. you can put bolt on about 99% of the tents if you already have a rooftop tent, tent. Yep. or if you've got a uh, front runner rack or a Yakima rack, yep. anything you already have will bolt to Do this it. trailer. Uh, this one, this particular one, we call an adventure trailer. Obviously you can do some kayaking, some mountain biking. And we talked a little bit earlier, yep. the cool thing about this base is it's got a full two inch pass through hitch. So you've got your hooked up front, but you have a two inch receiver in the back. And so now if you've got your spare tire rack or if you've got, uh, uh, this particular is a Yakima bike rack. So you still yep. get your mountain bikes out on the trail. Or you can be recovered from that. Or you can recover from that. Wow. So that's, that's so yeah, if you've, if if you're, you're in stuck, a pinch. Yeah, you stuck your nose in where you shouldn't have. If you're with some buddies and they can turn around, you can just put your hitch on the back and they can just pull out the other direction. So what we've done uh, with this particular setup is we offer them in several different packages. You can go as bare bones as you want to keep the price down. Yep. Uh, but if you want to go with an electrical package, we have a uh, Xbeon 360 lithium battery system inside that we have inverted and mounted to the roof so it gives you more pass-through clearance underneath. Okay, yeah. You can put a 10 or a 20 gallon water tank underneath that battery. Mm -hmm. And off to the side, we have a uh, fridge slide, uh, which we will also have a licensed Jeep refrigerator that you'll wow. be able to get at your local Jeep dealership as well. So those are a few options. And then we have the electrical package where you can hook up shore power to keep your battery charged. Yep. You can hook up solar if you've already got a, you know, a goal zero or something yep. to that effect to keep your battery charged. And then a seven way, if you're plugged into your Jeep, you're gonna be charging while you're driving. Okay. We also made the hitch. Uh, nobody likes knocking their knees on a yep. hitch. So this is actually, you pull a pin 
and the hitch folds up out of your way. So when it's being stored in your garage or in your carport, uh, you're not knocking your knees on the hitch. Okay, and you got all the controls there? All of the controls here, and so what we've got here, let's run everything down, but you, you can power up uh, from your battery, it gives you a voltage reading of what you're running, what you're charging, how much you've used. Uh, you can charge your phone with some USBs. Uh, you can run a uh, compressor off of a cigarette lighter style. Yeah. Um, so yes, we've got a little bit of everything on the electrical. We've got rock lights on this one. We got port lights on this as well. well. And then it's lit inside. Another USB on this side, is that? This one here, no, oh, that, oh, yeah, what's... we ran this here because on some of our trailers, and I, uh, we can take a look at another one. With the overlanding trailer, the rooftop tent, we have an awning that swings out. Okay, yes. And if you have awning lights, that's where you plug Other your awning, awning lights, lights in, in and now you're, you're covered for okay. that as well. And that, this one here? This one here is your water fill for your 10 or 20 gallon tank. Okay, yeah. Gravity fed. Perfect. So you don't have any pumps or anything to burn out if you forget to turn something off. You'll always have good access to your water. Yeah. So this is your fridge slide out. And what we'll have in here is your official Jeep refrigerator, uh, which is nice to keep that ice cream cold while you're out uh, frozen, while you're out there in the desert having yeah. a good time. Uh, so refrigeration on a slider. We've got an electrical panel on the inside here, and we've got smart chargers, and so it'll identify if I'm shore power, if I'm solar, it'll identify that, and it'll charge that lithium ion battery, which is tucked up underneath and mounted yeah. upside down there. And then of course it just gives you the same as we looked on that other trailer, yeah. all the electrical options that you have, as well as being lit on the inside. Oh, the awning, yes. So this small little uh, six by five foot platform all of a sudden becomes this big room that we're standing in yes. and becomes a great campsite. We have uh, walls for the awning, awning. Okay. Uh, which is, makes it nice. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of storage under there. So yeah, you should be able to get a pretty good uh, amount of gear in there uh, and a pretty quick, easy access. Over in our other booth, in yeah. the overlanding experience, we have a kitchen slide out. Oh, wow. So that's another option you can go with uh, that folds up nice and neat in there as well. Yeah. And then you've got your, you got your, um, we got roto packs, packs fuel, fuel on there. Extra fuel and water, I guess. And then, yep. And then, yeah, you got your rooftop tent as well as your awning. So we've uh, mounted showers, the uh, Yakima Road shower. Yes. Uh, we've mounted those uh, propane. We've done a different configurations for a propane. And this is um, a simple pin. So if you don't want to take it on a particular trip, it's... Yep, you just unpin it there and slide it off. Uh, and then or adjust the, it higher for Yep, for, for tall, us tall guys, guys, it yep. goes up and down. Or if the wind's getting out of control. Yeah. Yes, you're, you're, inevitably we're gonna get in those 20 mile an hour winds. Hopefully we can just stake it down and be yeah. good. But if yeah. they're getting really rough, uh, yeah, you can just fold it up and pull it off. Yeah. So, so that's the gist of it. Here's your, recovery. an option re yeah. for recovery. You can yeah. grab a hold of a D-ring there and get you out of a spot. And it's kind of silly. We got, to give you an idea how overbuilt this thing is, we put 8,000 pound jacks on all four corners. There is never a level spot to camp, ever. And so now you can just level your trailer with your jacks. All right, so being a big guy, yep. how many pounds can we get up on here? You're not big enough. I'm not big enough? So I've got three and four man tents, so you can put three, four guys up on top of here. No problem. So, no, that's a lot of, there's a <laughs> lot of roof racks that won't hold me. <laughs> uh, this one will, brother. Right, this one will. No, we're excited. That's what, yeah. uh, we tried to check every box. No, you have, you have. Uh, We've gone with several different tents. Uh, my wife and I have done some Pacific Northwest trips and uh, being a taller guy at 6'4", uh, we have to have a bigger tent uh, yes. to be able to sleep in. And uh, so we've tried different ones. We've done hard cases, we've done soft uh, bag tents and uh, it's done well with all of them. We've done a ton of R&D. So we yeah. feel like it checked all the boxes and it's uh, worthy of the Jeep branding. So 
Well, they think so, so, you know, I think so then. Well, well thank you. Hey, Ben, it's been I, a pleasure to have you guys in our booth today, and uh, we hope you enjoy the show. Yeah, and I can't wait to start seeing these south of the equator. Well, that's our plan.